All right, aftermarket door lock relay wiring. Here we go. Adding door locks to your car, need to know how to wire the relays? Let me show you. So you're adding aftermarket door lock actuators to your vehicle. You're gonna need relays to power them. Let me show you how. Now understand you only need two relays to run whatever, four door locks, two door locks, one door lock, whatever. Let me show you. All right, it's not that hard to do. We're gonna take 85 on that relay, 86 on this relay, and they're gonna go to your alarm lock outputs. Same thing. So this one could be locked, this one could be unlocked, however you want to do that. It's not a big deal, either way. 87A on both relays are going to go to ground. 85 and 86, the leftover two prongs of your relays are going to go to 12 volts, more than likely. Because most time aftermarket alarms are a negative trigger. Both 87s are going to go to 12 volts. And the two leftover 30s are going to go to your actuators. Let me show you how this works. So this is an aftermarket door lock actuator. To make it work, you have to put power to one side, ground to the other. And to get it to go the other way, you just switch the two. Let's go back to the drawing. Like I said, lock outputs, unlock, lock, whichever, makes no difference really. These four go to 12 volts. And how this works is these two rest at ground, meaning 30 is going to rest at ground when this one gets pulsed, which will throw 12 volts to the actuator on this side while this rests at ground. As soon as that pulse is done, this will go back to resting both at ground. And then when you disarm, this one will go to 12 volts while this rests at ground. So that's how you wire relays for aftermarket door lock actuators. And as always, have a great day.